Hello darlings, it's Mousy, and this video is a collection of little videos that I've filmed uh, over the course of the past two weeks concerning uh, what I've been doing for Cthulhu Paper and more. You'll see things um, like me filling orders and the Patreon packages and making uh, some of the stuff and the quest for the letterpress, that sort of thing. I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you want to see more um, down the line, be sure to let me know. Hey guys, it's Mousy, and this week I thought uh, I would give you a little bit of insight into something that I work on pretty much on the daily. Um, some of you may know I've launched a stationery business called Cthulhu Paper and More. Um, and since it does take up a lot of my time, I thought I'd give you guys kind of a look into what exactly I do for that. So um, right now I'm actually packaging up the um, Patreon packages for the month of February and technically January as well. Um, and these get sent out at the beginning of each month for the Patreon, Cthulhu, Paper, and more um, tier members. So they're going to be getting a set of Valentines and a set for January as well. Because while I was traveling, I couldn't send out um, the packages for January. So they're getting two sets of cards. And uh, yeah, and then I'm also working on a bunch of other like little projects here and there, which uh, you'll see a little sneak preview into in this video. So it's definitely a humdrum, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> See, this is another part of the uh, Cthulhu humdrum that I've been working on, collecting footage for, doing all that kind of thing. Um, so, oh, I have some pretty exciting things going on today concerning the Cthulhu realm. Um, wow, I'm actually really nervous about it. Um, you may have seen this on my Instagram story a while back. I don't know when this video is going to go out because most of the video is little snippets here and there of what I do for Cthulhu, little, little things that I'm making, the process, that sort of thing. But today in particular, um, well, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday I went to the antique mall. That video is definitely out. Um, and I couldn't find a printing press, but I had a look-see online and I found a um, printing press online. Uh, on eBay, excuse me, and you can't buy it now. It's a bidding process, so I'm currently in a, almost in a bidding war. I haven't placed my bid yet. I'm waiting until like the last hour mark, because um, I feel like that's probably my best chance to kind of secure it. I'm really, really nervous because I don't want to get into a bidding war with whoever else I'm like up against, because there is currently a bid on it and. Uh, I've never bid on something like this before, especially something that's like kind of actually important to me. It could help Cthulhu Paper um, in a sense of making a lot more high quality products. Um, so it's really important that I find a letterpress, printing press type deal. And this one that I'm currently trying to bid on is in like really good condition. Um, if you guys don't know anything about letter presses, uh, they're really interesting mechanisms. They were really popular before the industrialized printing age type of thing. Um, and a lot of people just kind of like threw them out because we didn't really need them anymore. But now that's kind of coming back into style and I really, really want one for Cthulhu paper. So hopefully we can get it. I'm really nervous. The hour mark is closing in and I figured I'd share that as part of this Cthulhu paper humdrum um, because ah, I'm super nervous. I'm, I'm excited but I'm nervous because it's like 
this is my business like that I run on the side of like my YouTube stuff and I'm really really passionate about it and this is something that's uh, it's just it's gonna be so cool if I can get it so oh, hopefully we can get it oh my gosh such a weird feeling <laughs> So, a little bit of an update to the whole bidding war thing that I was telling you about with that whole letterpress. Uh, yeah, there's like, this is five bids on it. Five different people are bidding on it. It's down to the last hour. I'm currently the highest bidder, so I... <sighs> we might be okay, but I'm like stressing out, having like anxiety over this. I'm stress cooking right now. I'm making quinoa pizza bites, quinoa, excuse me, quinoa pizza bites and my own pizza sauce, like from scratch. I'm freaking out. I hope I win this, like, oh. So I'm not sure if I talked about the auction thing. I can't remember if I was just too bummed out or what, but um, I did lose that auction for that letterpress, and I lost another one um, for another letterpress that was really, really rusty, so I'm kind of glad I kind of lost it because my heart wasn't set on it. Um, but that auction went crazy. It went all the way up to like 400, the bidding more on it. So I was like, well, you guys can have that rusty old piece of junk. I don't care. Um, but today there's another letterpress auction um, on a letterpress that's a little bit smaller than the one I originally wanted but it's not in it's in pretty good condition by the looks of it and I feel like because it's a little bit smaller it might be easier to work with and learn with um, so it's about the same price as the one I was trying to bid on but I feel like because it's in good condition most of the other letter presses that I'm seeing go upwards of like $500, which is something I'm not quite ready to like invest in yet when I don't know much about letter pressing just yet. Um, I have books that are teaching me about it, but first things first, I kind of need the letter press. So I'm really hoping that I can win the bidding war today because, um, yeah, I was really bummed out about losing the other one, and I really don't want to lose this one, so... And uh, this is another part of the Cthulhu um, journey, I guess. Uh, if you can't tell, it's the uh, the day I was, the, the few days I was sick um, after the whole IKEA thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so my letterpress came a lot earlier than I expected, and so did all of my type that I got as well. So I wanted to go ahead and open that. I'm probably not going to talk too, too much because I sound awful, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is kind of really exciting. <laughs> I'll show you guys here in a moment. What am I meant to do with all these packing peanuts? Oh gosh, on top of that they like had to, s they stapled it closed, it's so weird. Uh, I need to get like a trash bag. It's just packing peanuts. They didn't send me a whole letter press. They just sent me packing peanuts, I'm sure.
never see packing peanuts again. They're everywhere. Wow, but everything works, it looks like. It might need to be oiled a little bit, but um, it doesn't look like I have a chase for it though. I'm actually kind of worried there might be something still in the box, but I'm pretty sure it does not come with a chase, which is like this thing that goes right about here. And uh, you put the lettering in there. We have the letter press out. That's something. Now I've got to open up the kit, the letter kit. Okay, we got it open enough. I think I might be able to slide this whole thing out. Maybe. Oh, come on. Oh, good lord, that's small. I mean, I knew it was supposed to be small type, but I didn't think they were that small. Whoa. I'm not even joking, guys. Let me give you guys a closer look. This is my thumb for comparison. It is tiny. So I guess this would be if I wanted to, like, make books or something, but I don't think I could make any cards or even postcards from this, if I'm honest. I did not realize it would be this small. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I really don't have anywhere else to put it, so I guess it's just gonna have to be like right here. But I mean, at least it's small enough to fit right there. There are some printing presses that were a lot bigger, so sorry for my messy desk. I've been filling orders, um, but yeah. So yeah, we have the press. And I talked a lot more than I thought I would, but um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I sound like deaf, I know. Um, but yeah, so the type is super duper small. I don't think I'm gonna be able to print with it, but luckily, I don't think I could print with it anyway um, because I don't have all of the tools that I need to print because um, I know I need a chase. I need this stuff called um, letterpress furniture and letting. Oh, there's, I gotta get ink. There's special ink you've gotta use. Yeah, um, I've got a lot of tools I've still gotta get and each of those things I just like listed off is fairly expensive if I'm honest. So yeah, I gotta figure that out. But we got the letterpress, it's here. <laughs>